at the university in a different pan India level. We actually start. Take a topic, five minutes. Java banana ki zorat bhi nahi hai. minutes of on any topic, and five minutes is enough for discussion on a small topic. And this will be like a upkeep. This repository will be. Different topics taking introductions quality based on NEP. And another important thing is that sometimes I, I, I sorry to I am not trying to offend anything, but sometimes there is a mismatch between what administration wants and what teacher wants in terms of teaching. Because sometimes the exam is scheduled then after the management schedule, so it needs to be streamlined because remember. We cannot delay on any of the timeline now, as per the respected universities and other, because there is multiple entry and exit. So, if a student from A university want to join B, it exactly need to match with the other one. Otherwise, and the options which are available, because otherwise, in that case, it will not be possible. So, digitizing such an courses, digitizing, providing an alternative platform may help the university to gain and become. Better in terms of the quality, and another important thing, just say uh, Mukul sir has mentioned here, that there is a mixed language, Hindi, English. Are. So it's not a matter of concern because now we are multilingual. Technology helps. We have reports in different language. We translate in different. So we need to do it at uh, that level because if this political or policy is a pan-India level, so we have. 16, 17 official languages. So we need to remove the barrier so that we allow, we welcome all the students from different parts of India to join the program. Next important thing is that we need to provide certain accessibility to the students. If a podcast or like on YouTube with a, what you call subtitles, this will actually help people with different abilities. They can either listen to it or they can watch it. They can read it. So this is something which is beneficial for the students. So actually, we are providing a holistic idea where equity is important. What we say, Amartya Sen said, each according to capacity, each according to need. So we are trying to provide the same resources which can have a multi-level effect. Uh, it, it reminds me of a joke, not a joke, but think about how any Indian cinema are earning. Same movie dubbed in four languages, in, in individual revenue. So you have just to pay for the dubbing. Rest remain same. So it's like we are provide, going to provide education in one language and dubbed in many, so that it caters to a wider market. If I say it in that language, uh, can we change the slide, please? Ah, uh, मैंने बताया क्या करना है. अब बोल रहा हूँ कैसे करना है. यहाँ पे जो मैंने दो स्टेप बोले थे आपको कि at least five minutes, ten minutes video आप बनाना बना सकते हो अपने interesting topic पे. So that एक आपको feedback मिले college के पास एक digital learning के छोटे छोटे files folders हो तो this will also help in NAC and IQAC definitely will it will be also the assurance that if some certain faculty members need technology support editing support camera support communication support and what will happen this will also you can also take help of the students. Because students are very smart in terms of the technology use or in terms of the camera or the gadgets, so we can also ask them. It will be part of the co-learning. A student recording the lecture of the faculty members, editing for him or her, and this can also is an asset. So it is more like a holistic where participation from the students, participation from the teacher, and the resource for the university and the institute. So it it is like the issue sound. There is a noise. All these things can be edited because generally, what I have seen, especially for the senior faculties, they are not part of this side of the digital divide, what we call. But definitely, they can be trained, and it's not a big task. But I assure me, we when we were doing, there were a lot of apprehensions that how will we record? We don't look good on camera. I'll feel shy. I'll not be able to do it. So all these apprehensions are there. We सारे सोच हैं उनको अच्छा नहीं लगा कभी भी उन्होंने कैमरे में रिकॉर्ड करके नहीं बोला वो कॉन्शियस हो गए इसकी वजह से वो क्या होगा प्रॉब्लम हो सो यू डोंट फील लाइक यू टेक एन क्लास इन द क्लासरूम आप तो कभी कॉन्शियस नहीं होते आप कैमरा रख दो वहां पे जहां पे एडिटिंग करनी है जहां पे वो लाइंस भी नहीं बोलने हैं रिपीट नहीं करना है हटा दो 
एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ यूजिंग योर ओन मोबाइल फोन आप करके देखो एंड इफ यू नीड हेल्प डेफिनेटली मुकुल सर इज देर एंड यू टू नीड माई हेल्प डेफिनेटली आई बी हेल्प इन योर एंड एक और बात यहाँ पे यूनिवर्सिटी जो आपने स्लाइड में देखोलॉजी यहाँ पे कुछ आप, आपने चैट जी सुना होगा जहाँ पे आप केवल टाइप करो वो आपको वीडियो बना के देगा देर आर मेनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर आपको अपनी फेस भी नहीं लगती आप टाइप करो आपका वो वीडियो करके देगा कि हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ वीडियो फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक और सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंचुरी और व्हेन यू टॉकिंग अबाउट रोबोटिक्स थ्री डी सिमुलेशन बिकॉज रिमेंबर बहुत यूट्यूब में हजारों वीडियो अवेलेबल है हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू मेक डिफरेंट फॉर यू तो अल्टीमेटली हाउ इंटरक्टिव यू आर how easy you are presenting matters along so when you talking about the national education policy you need to not only to be what you have learned but learn something which is required that's why i started with this slide which says learn unlearn so we are in a process to unlearn something and relearn means add to the information nothing to subtract it is all, we are moving ahead rather than moving backward okay so this is something which we are saying that how we can do it and next slide please okay so this was i was talking that if this is in the process what we call national tech educational technology forum so they will be guiding because as uh, uh, some of uh, some of the respect and management people was talking about that still this is the year of implementation maharashtra government has planned uh in the if i talk about the state of west bengal we are still in the process of implementing this four year program and uh, four year program means uh, the first year foundation then three years of uh, graduation honors degree diploma as uh, it was already discussed so this particular body will be providing a suggestion or a advisory body in terms of the technology and the institutional capacities because ultimately take for example dex chair classroom fan lights teacher was a necessary requirement for a classroom but when it comes to the technology intervention we need a projector we need an internet we need a smart board and obviously the facilitators that is the teacher need to understand the technology and the students who will be the receiving side should also understand how it can help so this is something which the netef or the new national education technology forum will be focusing on next please okay so there are initiative which i have already discussed brief like we need and uh, i would request the management that if certain or workshops on learning and making online repository organizing certain uh, workshops on uh, learning mooc or swam platform because this will also add value to the institute and value to the Uh, faculty members like how it, the professional development of certain tools can be done this is one such initiative and diksha educational technology initiative by government of india which is something which is focusing on again the language barrier which i have already talked and to develop e content which i have just said that at least as a starter we can or you can start creating certain content for your papers which you like the most and they are also trying to focus and integrate the same learning platform both at the what you call elementary education and higher education and as i told we need to the infrastructure of the equipments for creating but for the very basic we can still everyone has a camera camera and means a mobile phone so which they can use to record and i i think the latest phones are much much better than any camera phones which are available in the market so next next uh, what i am talking about uh, next next so can you check so there are certain concerns of online education and digital education so that it can be used uh, equitably okay so here when we talking about leveraging the advantages of technology while acknowledging the potential risk and dangers what can it be it can be the data which you are doing it it can be this what you call the copyright whether it has been copy pasted what about the originality because we need to take into account that while we creating certain online content we need to have a proper materials which are original 
even if you are taking it, at least give a, what you call, courtesy note or refer it, because this will be also an important aspect that all our, what you call, content cannot be original. We definitely will be taking from certain places. So there are places and tools and technology which are available, which is not copyrighted. Okay, this is something which you are talking about. And as I suggested that at least teachers can start, we can start as a pilot project, because ultimately if you want to reap the profit of this particular, uh, what you call technology intervention, we need to be very much able and capable to use it in the right angle and right dimension. Uh, I remember there was a one meeting when they were saying that, sir, how to plot uh, what you suppose formulas or how to check formulas online. So this is also a question that do we need a smart board or how students will be plotting that online? It, it is okay when we talk about the subjective papers, but what about the objective papers in terms of diagrams, in terms of uh, chart, in terms of the graphs which are there? So we need to work on that. Next point is optimizing and expanding the existing digital platforms on ongoing based educational initiatives. So definitely you must have, you must have started the digital platform, be it a Google Classroom or uh, MS Meets, or if you talk about Google Meets, these are all digital platforms for communication and conversation. So in terms of we can leap forward from here and we can add certain tools and techniques, what we call the learning management system, which I'll be showing, which is there in the my forthcoming slides, that how we are doing at our level. And this is uh, the last point, which is using technology online, which I'll be showing it. Next slide, please. Uh, okay, so you can see uh, this is the university learning management. Hello, so here we are talking about something which is there. Is it visible? This is called Canvas. So you see that entire course curriculum is here. And here, if, if the core semester is there, so we provide all the details here in terms of the calendar, history, inbox, the comments. It means the, how the students are connected, what they do, we can easily track them in terms of their attendance, in terms of their assignments, in terms of the mass distribution, in terms of the resources which are there, and in terms of the day-to-day -day discussion. So this is something called Canvas, C-A-N-D-A-S. So this is the dashboard, which is for me, my dashboard. Here, my papers are visible, which, which, which helps me to keep a track based on the semester which they are and the program which they are. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. So what exactly we need to focus on? As I am emphasizing again and again, we need to build digital competencies. We need, uh, we need to build the digital competencies. And what do you mean? We need to make the teachers learn. Unlearn few and relearn. Then we talk about bridging the digital divide. So here we are talking about a digital divide, which cannot be only in terms of the faculty members, but also in students. It can be in a very basic that availability of an internet. Think, for example, a student whose uh, per capita family income is very minimal. Buying an internet-based phone may not be very much easy. So what happened then the university provides certain infrastructure, computer lab and other, where he or she can do it. But thanks to, if I say geo, where the internet capacity, the charges are reasonably cheapest in the world, it can actually help to bridge the digital divide technologically. But sometimes understanding of that te technology is also not easy, which can create a divide. So here we need to understand the sentiments because sometimes if the senior faculty members who have not been used to the technology, they should not feel that they are left out. They can easily learn. The only thing is that we need a helping hand to make them understand that, okay, this is the part of uh, technology where you can easily. So what I mean that universities can provide facilitators, a lab or training, which will help them to feel part of this new educational policy and not to make them unwanted or not required. So this can easily be bridged. So I will request the young faculty members to take the initiative in terms of creating what I was saying. And 
another important aspect of resources like for example somebody told uh, in in in, uh, in one of my conferences that what about the online resources from where we get it so obviously uh, there are a few websites and places where you can get the digital resources or you can create one you can license it obviously it is very capital intensive you have to shell lot of money so here it is like institutional membership which can be taken as an institute which will help the others to download at the resources because if i con uh, concern from the nat they will be looking into these data and uh, repositories and uh, membership which we have so this can help because why i'm focusing on digital resources and open sources because to improve the quality of your content you need to have good resources in your communication in your quality of teaching okay and there will be definitely certain courses which you uh, courses you cannot have a digital space for example we can give an idea about running on the ground but you cannot have a course on how to run on the ground obviously you can create certain space but this will require an offline mode next important part as a faculty members is that online assessment i i remember i was part of uh, the online assessment when in mumbai university it happened it was a tedious task first we need to scan the entire answer strip if it was not properly scanned it was difficult the marks and if there is a 32 page even the student has wrote one first and second page we have to go and click every 32 page so that the computer registers that we have seen all the pages so this becomes certain uh, actually quite labor intensive so it is there need to be certain smart technology which will help that these two pages are filled we will check these two pages and rest 30 are empty so think about if there are 100 students and all of have them have written two pages and you have to go to 32 pages just to mark your signature this becomes because manually you can know you can do it faster so that is something which you need to discuss and deliberate at the university level or that at the level and another important point which are uh, which as a educator as a faculty member i face that students are that the amount of time they have to spend on screen suppose there are seven classes means they have to be online for seven hours it means seven hours consumption of internet so how we are going to manage it later we manage it 30 30 minutes so seven was divided into three and a half hours of the class online and three and a half hours of offline assignment so we need to come up with certain innovative ideas how we can use both the digital part and the offline promotion what we can say the hybrid aspect of it. next slide please so uh, this is uh, what i believe that this particular conference is the first part of the planning that we have planning on it so i believe that 50% of the work done when we have already planned it and now what i was saying in terms of the implementation so you are only left with the 50% it is initiating something like the new education policy and the initiative which has been done discussion on this deliberation on this already you have started how to implement it the rest part will be 50% next please so i will not say much about it i have a document to share which will be helpful i have shared you the details how our university is doing uh, in terms of the canvas which is used it is monitored if you need any uh, uh, what is a guidance on that i'll be happy to help and i thank uh, mukul sir for taking such initiatives and i'm happy that your 50% of the planning is already on the way so rest 50 is when you will implement it so this is a very popular uh, saying which is there that the illiterate of 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn unlearn and relearn and this was said much much ahead so i think we are in the this right time all of us if i uh, include myself also we need to unlearn few things we are not saying that we are becoming uneducated but we need to add this value this is actually a value addition to us skilling us in terms of upskilling us for our students and for ourselves next please ah uh, thank you thank you everyone 
uh, if there is any question, any uh, tool or technology any related, please let me know. Any questions are welcome. Anyone want to ask anything online, offline? Sir, there is a question. Which is the free LMS, LMS uh, platform? Okay, uh, as of now, everybody uses Gmail. Everybody uses Gmail. You can use. Uh, you can start with uh, Google Classroom. It is free. Okay. Google Classroom is free. You can manage the students, provide the resources and the other kind of things, which are completely free. Right, sir. Uh, if I have the place, I find I'll just uh, can show you. Do you want me to show the how the Google Classroom looks? Okay, sir. I hope the screen uh, screen is visible. Huh? It should not be. You can share the screen. Sir. Yeah, I'm trying. This is how the Google Classroom looks. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is how the Google Classroom uh, is visible. Is there? You can do the same thing, just like the learning management system. But it is, this is a very basic, freely available. Everyone has a, a Gmail account. So what you can do here, you can go on this uh, nine dots on your Gmail, and there is a Google Classroom. And it, it connects to your Gmail ID. Okay. Right, sir. It connects, uh, connects to the Gmail ID. You can start with the Google Classroom. Anything else? Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your guidance. Uh, being a young faculty, even now I am not afraid of technologies and I'll really uh, try some new technologies, right, starting from the Google classes and keeping learn and relearn uh, plan in my mind. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Because learn, what happened, and learn and relearn. Exactly. We, problem what happened that we should not be fearful of the technology. I'm just sharing uh, two minutes. I'll not take everyone has a lunch time. I know. What happened, I went to uh, Kerala for a field work and I found that women cannot use technology because there is a fear. Dar hai. Wo dar ko hatane ki baat hai. Seriously, jab bhi hum screwdriver ki baat karte, wo men ke paas jata hai. I don't know why. Technology ki baat karte, formatting ki wo men ke paas jata hai. Women ke paas jata hai, poochte bhi nahi hai. Kya aap kar paoge? Aap socho kya situation hai ye. अब मैं वही बोलता हूँ एक दिन मैं अपने क्लास में बोला कि आप एक गर्ल स्टूडेंट को बोला फैन खोल सकते हो वो बोला नहीं उस हाइपोथेसिस था बस हाइपोथेसिस में भी नो आंसर आया सो वी नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस फियर आई एम सीरियसली सेइंग टेक्नोलॉजी इज इज वी शुड यूज द टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्नोलॉजी शुड नॉट यूज अस सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द मैम सो हियर सिटिंग फैकल्टी मेंबर्स प्लीज यूज इट इट गेट रिड ऑफ दैट फियर डर के आगे जीत है वो फियर के आगे जीत है डर के आगे नहीं ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Sir, th thank you so much. Uh, we are breaking for the lunch now, right? Uh, I'll talk to you in the evening. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in and for your wonderful guidance. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Close कर दिया मैंने. Announce करना है. Announce करना है तो. Close मत करो. Close मत करो. Close मत करो. क्लोज किया था ठीक है ना एक मिनट चलो क्लोज कर सर एक मिनट नहीं माइक ही तो होता है ना हां तो इसमें भी बोल सकते हैं इसमें बोलते हैं बाकी लोगों को पता है हां उसमें बोलो ताकि सब को इसके बाद लंच सेशन है 2 टू 2:30 तक 
उसके बाद फिर से डॉक्टर मुकुल बुरघाटे इनका लाइव सेशन होने वाला है थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू लंच के लिए सब रिकॉर्डिंग हो रहा कैसे अरे ये बंद कर दिया नहीं चलो नहीं रिकॉर्डिंग चल रही है वो उसका दिखते क्या अभी इंग्लिश ना सलत ना तो तुम्ही तुमसे आर्था कनेक्ट तो साल लगेगा। You cannot connect with the entire group। इच्छा मैडम जो मैंने रिश्ता करूँ टक्कर पर। वैसे बारे ची गरज नहीं आता। यार जो स्क्रीनशॉट मार्गेल ना कुटले एक आदि इमेज अपलोड कर रहा है। अन्य ट्रांजैक्शन आईडी तुम्ही मोबाइल नंबर। अब खाली वो जितने रंगों में सोएगी मेरी डायरी किधर सब रखा मैंने बर्बाद सर आप टेंशन मत लो
नहीं सर कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं आती बहुत अच्छे से अपना टच आउट हो गया हाँ कलकत्ता पुणे मैनेज कर लिया अपन ने कलकत्ता और काका से मैनेज कर लिए टेंशन हाँ अब अपने घर का तो अब इतना टेंशन नहीं है अपने को जितना वहाँ था तीन चार ही है बस ये वो दो यहाँ पे बैठे जो बस वही अब जो बैठेंगे वो सोने वाला है वहाँ पे बैठ के रोक नहीं पाएगा खुद को एक तो मिसाला रोज मतलब सवा इतनी बेकार है चार बजे उठे जी साढ़े तीन चार बजे दोपहर में नींद आती है तो वॉक को अगर एक्सरसाइज वॉक सा हो सके जाता तो मुलीला सोड़ा जाता तो फिर वही वो गार्डन है आपके अकाउंट से लॉग इन नहीं करना है ना नहीं मैं दूसरी से कर ये एन पी से लॉग इन करना है क्या एन पी से क्या करता है तो आप अपने कौन से ये आईडी क्योंकि चालू है इसलिए इससे लॉग इन ले रहा है वो नहीं इसको स्विच कर देना सब कुछ स्क्रीन शेयर करना है और स्क्रीन शेयर स्क्रीन कर कर रखते हैं तो क्या शेयर करना है पीपीटी उसमें डेस्कटॉप पे एनईपी 2020 नहीं ये तो सर ने भेजा था शायद ये क्या बोल रहा है सर हाँ नहीं 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 इसमें बस ये वन डे दूसरे तरीके से वो ये भी उसमें पावर पॉइंट उसके नीचे नहीं यही कर देंगे लेकिन वो एक एक और तरीका अपना के देखता हूँ शायद थोड़ा अलग वे में दिखाएगा थाईलैंड लगे लगे थे। पठान को। ठीक है। अब हम कैमरे पहला पहला स्लाइड लाकर ये भी प्ले होता है क्या? हम्म? 
गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू आफ्टर ए हेवी लंच वी हैव विथ अस डॉक्टर मुकुल बुरघाटे सर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर पी डी आई एम टी आर राष्ट्रसंत तुकड़ोजी महाराज नागपुर यूनिवर्सिटी नागपुर ही हैज ए सर्विंग डॉक्टर पंजाबराव देशमुख इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च नागपुर एज असोसिएट प्रोफेसर सिंस जुलाई टू थाउजेंड सिलेक्टेड इन इस्टीम फैकल्टी पूल एट एन जी ए एस सी ई फॉर ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट एट द रेट एस वी के एम्स एन एम आई एम एस ग्लोबल एक्सेस स्कूल ऑफ कंटिन्यूइंग एजुकेशन मेम्बर ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज विथ सिम्बॉइसिस स्किल एंड प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी एस एस पी यू पुणे एंड इंदिरा कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड सायंस पुणे क्राइटेरिया इंचार्ज ऑफ इंटरनल क्वालिटी एश्योरस सेल ऑफ नैक धनवटे नैशनल कॉलेज appointed as a coordinator and counselor for open and distance learning of ignu study center nagpur from february 2011 for mba mcom bcom bba mwan certificate course in french language etc examination superintendent for ignu coordinator for ignu study center of central jail nagpur for mba program member of syllabus syllabus restructuring structuring committee for mba mir pm pjd dbm memphil all diploma courses commerce and management etc of rashtrasant tukroji maharaj nagpur university member of faculty selection committee member of local enquiry committee constituted by rtm nagpur university member of special task committee co-opted as member of board of studies of commerce faculty visiting committee members for inception of aict affiliated institutions in india nominated by association of indian universities new delhi member of moderation board and expert member in the committee constituted for special task related to conduct of examination in the faculty of commerce uh, from 2011 work with pg teaching department of business administration and management संत गाड़गे बाबा अमरावती यूनिवर्सिटी अमरावती एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द इयर 1999 नाइनटी नाइन टू टू थाउजेंड 
she has a long research uh, he has a long research experience about more than 50 years more than 35 plus research papers published he has a uh, guest resource, uh, resource person uh, invited talks uh, more uh, than 10 to 15 then recently uh, he has a conference committee members organizing secretary national advisory committee member and national advisory committee member of international conference on quality upgradation in engineering science and technology he has a uh, published uh, uh, one journal namely commerce and Mon management studies He has a set in commerce, cond uh, commerce, then B uh, with a specialization in civil engineering. He has a very uh, long experience of teaching and learning and research. Uh, I request Dr. Mukul Burghate sir to deliver his speech. A very good afternoon to all, one and all, and welcome back after the lunch. In fact, this is the uh, last and uh, f final session for this one day national education policy, or we call it new also, new education policy 2020. Now, two speakers, they have already, uh, uh, they had a talk on Bloom's taxonomy and one had a talk on digitalization. In fact, uh, if you, if we just go through the uh, NAP documents, which is of roughly 61 pages, 61, 62 pages, right? The initial draft was of 484 pages. The initial draft that was made was of 484 pages, and suggestions and recommendations were called from all the stakeholders, including gram panchayat, including uh, local bodies, including, uh, in fact, all districts of India got a response the, for that draft. There was a response from almost more than two lakhs um, stakeholders who gave their suggestions and recommendation. And after that, the final draft, when it was prepared, it was of 62 pages. Now, this 62 page includes everything. It includes uh, your schooling. It includes the second part is about HEI, that is Higher Education Institute. Third part talks about all this digitalization, then MOOC courses, all those things. And fourth talks about the implementation, how phase-wise this entire policy is going to be implemented. It's not, it, it cannot be done in a, in, in a year's time. Apan jaysa bol rahe ki 2023 mein lagu hai, coming June. Now, from there onward, till the year 2040, phase-wise it is, it is going to be implemented because it's going to be gigantic task it is it is going to act as changing the land form the, the entire landscape you can call it of the education in india earlier right now not earlier also earlier and right now also whatever <coughs> present uh, system we are working we are we are teaching learning uh, i'll be talking on that also why why there there is need of change badlav kyu zaruri hai so that is one and secondly we will be talking about my, my core uh, focus will be on higher education institution, which in fact we are fortunate we are part of HEI, that is Higher Education Institute. Now this is going to be part two. So all you have to remember is it is in uh, all part four, total part four, I am going to talk on two, part two. Part one we are not very much concerned because that is related to schooling, right? So. Uh, in fact, I am not going to talk only positive. See, we are going to see uh, see the uh, pros and cons. We call it advantages. Kya hai? Mere liye, student ke liye. Disadvantages kya hai? Mere liye or student ke liye. In fact, all the stakeholders. But the two major stakeholders are the teachers and the students. Ye dono ke hi irdgir ye policy gumti hai. Uh, jabki jo disadvantages hai as a teacher, mere liye bhot jada disadvantages hai. This is what my interpretation is. You may interpret it differently because out of this 62 page, I have read in between the line. 
okay, reading in between the lines. That is how I interpret. Your interpretation may vary, my interpretation may vary. So you can means uh, you can correct me if I go wrong. You can challenge me also, and we can have, go for a deliberation, a discussion. This is what I want actually. Because see, uh, the policy uh, uh, policy is new to me. The same is uh, same this case with you people, right? Everybody is new to this policy, and it's going to take plenty of uh, homework, plenty of study to really know whether this policy is practical or not, and. Time and time only will tell when it is implemented whether it will be uh, implemented in the fashion, in the way it is drafted or it is planned for. That is student centric. You can use, see, I'll be using few keywords student centric, right? Stu uh, student focus, uh, then cognitive thinking, critical thinking, skill based learning. See, the ma basic theme is to make the student skill oriented. See, before we start with our slides, uh, I'll just be telling you this, the, uh, the, the core story, story behind this uh, entire policy. Thing is, students should learn core competency. Just I have commerce, I have to learn commerce in good way. See, there is a confusion between many of the uh, faculty members and students that I have to commerce and then history, I have to learn music. I have to so the concept here is core competency. Again, you can remember this word, core competency. If I am a commerce student, then my, my subjects of commerce will be my core competency in which I should be master. Just say English mein bula jata hai na? Jack of all and master of none. So bho sare logo ka ye bhi sawal hai ki whether this policy is going to make the student jack of all, sab kuch pata rahega, and master of none. But that is not a case. I have read the policy entirely. I have read it. Uh, many times I have delivered lecture on this uh, at various places also I have conducted online session on this so uh, I, I would uh, I could I can definitely claim that I know the policy better than uh, most of you are knowing I, I, in fact you may challenge some of you may challenge me but uh, since I have I'm involved with this uh, right in the year 2020 I conducted one workshop where we uh, had done it in collaboration with SNDT Women's University so that was an excellent workshop and their vice chancellor was part of this, I'll be showing you the committee, their vice chancellor was part of the core committee which was formed to finalize the NAP. Right? So 484 pages reduced to 62 pages and this out of this 62 pages I, am, I have drawn almost, I have made almost 62 slides. So I've, you can say that one page is committed to, one slide is committed to one page of NAP. Now, what is the source? From where I have taken this? The source are the government websites where you can find the final NAP drafted, which is going to be implemented. Now, before I start, I want to tell you one thing. See, education is a concurrent subject. It's a, it's a concurrent. It, it refers to central as well as state. Right? Center ka bhi dakhal hota hai usme aur state ka bhi dakhal hota hai. But unfortunately, this policy is like what? They have tried to centralize everything. State ke hath mein bhot, bhot jada nahi di hai. Pehle kaisa tha ki central universities or ye sab central government uh, dictate karte the. Or state universities was entirely left to the, to the state government. The state government used to decide how to recruit, how to appoint, how to uh, change the syllabus, right? Most of the things were there in our hand. But here, what government, this is what I have interpreted again. What they are trying to do is try to centralize everything. Bring a common CET. Graduation ke liye aapko jo CET dena padega, that will be common throughout the India. Now when we say common, it looks good, centralized hoga, right? But what about the diversity of India? We have so many uh, customs, so many languages, so, so many things, different, different things happening. And we are proud of it as a diverse country. कि मेरे यहाँ रूलर पापुलेशन भी है, अर्बन भी है, सेमी अर्बन भी है। There are few citizens who still stays in jungle, आदिवासी जंगल बंद होता है। तो how how are you going to bring everybody on equal platform? That is one thing, which which I do not like much. Making everything centralized, then what? Having syllabus common throughout the India, which is again going to cause lot of what? Lot of problems for the student who is from ruler background and for the student who is from urban background. Likewise, I think uh, Jitendra Naik has said 
technology access to technology is not equal in india right a person a student staying in urban background is usually tech savvy he or she knows how to use all this technology but what about the students i'll be going coming to that also what about the students who don't have access to this android phones who don't don't have access to internet see everything when we say online online in itself means you should have access to internet without internet you cannot claim it has online or uh, what you call it online la ajun ke word barche word sai na online je manto apan kiwa mak tela sa apan manto online la like uh, communicating through technology right so this this is what are the sources let me take you further so this is going to be the topic for discussion and deliberation i am going to talk on seven important point first is ask philosophy that is always seek knowledge ask you have to keep on asking if you really want to gain knowledge aap puchoge nahi to kuch nahi milega that is a punch line of what google puchoge to sab milega right so you have to ask and man all all human being living on this earth has six good good friend che dost mere bhi hai aapke bhi hai it's entirely up to you how you talk to them now who are those six friends of they are the best friend of yours those are 5w and 1h 1h stands for how see this was what uh, was the first speaker talking about you have to keep on asking bloom's taxonomy says that you have to ask ask what exactly is the student looking out for and which are five w's what when where why which good to ye inko aap dost bana lo to life mein koi problem hi nahi jayega you can learn on your self you need not need a teacher they, they are the best teacher your best friend uh, if you keep on asking them ki ye kyu ho raha hai nap kyu lagana hai lag raha hai what was the need kab kab lagega kon lagayega kaise lagayega so these are the questions which you can See, we we are talking to ourselves every day. We talk. अपन अपने से संवाद चलते रहता है अपना, knowingly or unknowingly. We often ask questions to ourselves, and we get the answer. We don't have to search around. कहीं बाहर नहीं जाना पड़ता अपने. So the basic theme of this NAP forms this six six question marks, or five W and one H. And see, you can stop me in between if you are not following anything. कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो मुझे रोकिए. i won't mind right anything which you feel like you need to ask something i won't be keep keeping a separate session at the end wo bhi rakhenge hi apan but beech mein lagta hai ki fine aap ho sakta hai ki aap ko lage ki main bhool jaunga ya bhool jaungi to you can just inter you raise your hand and you can ask the question okay second thing is role of communication in teaching learning process this is again uh, uh, forms the uh, story line of nep communication when we say communication there are there are, is usually two types of communication one is verbal communication and one is non verbal right verbal communication kya hai jo main aapke sath kar raha hu i am talking to you right oral communication bhi bolte hai isko on what is non verbal communication anybody सिग्नल पॉस्चर जेस्टर जो मैं जैसे हाथ ला रहा हूँ अभी दिस इज वॉट नॉन वर्बल इट इज नॉट टॉकिंग टू यू यू आर रीडिंग इट राइट दिस दिस राइटिंग नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन का इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट आता है रिटर्न स्किल रिटर्न स्किल राइट इट कैन बी फॉर्मल इट कैन बी इनफॉर्मल दिस आर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन 
so communication why my focus is on communication because nap talks a lot on this vernacular languages and regional languages it talks about globalization it talks about english right it says that uh, the student should be imparted knowledge through vernacular language only till the age of 6th why the reason is simple i i find logic behind it kyunki bachpan mein jo bhi language jo new born sikhta hai wo hota hai मदर टंग वर्नेकुलर बोल सकते हैं आप उसको रीजनल लैंग्वेज बोल सकते हैं उसको स्टेट लैंग्वेज बोल सकते हैं वॉट एवर लैंग्वेज ही इज यूजिंग हिज हिज फादर मदर आर यूजिंग दैट्स वाई मदर टंग राइट सो एंड इफ द इफ द स्टूडेंट और इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज गुड इन वर्नेकुलर लैंग्वेज दैन लर्निंग फॉरन लैंग्वेज बिकम्स इजी दिस इज अगेन रैशनल इट इज लॉजिकल कि मेरी भाषा पर मेरा कमांड रहेगा तो आई कैन लर्न इंग्लिश वेरी इजीली आई कैन लर्न एनी अदर फॉरन लैंग्वेज लाइक स्पेनिश आई एम ट्राइंग टू लर्न इट मीन्स आई एम आई एम आई एम वर्किंग ऑन इट सो एनी अदर लैंग्वेज एंड इट्स सेज फोकस इज ऑन थ्री लैंग्वेज उनका बोलना है एन ई पी का कि एटलीस्ट तीन लैंग्वेज सबको ही आनी चाहिए आउट ऑफ विच वन हैज़ टू बी फॉरन लैंग्वेज टू कैन बी योर मदर टंग अनदर कैन बी योर नेशनल लैंग्वेज जो बोलते हैं अपन इट्स नॉट एक्जैक्टली अ नेशनल लैंग्वेज it is also debatable hindi is not a national language apan bolte hai but there is lot of opposition from the south indian states particularly tamil nadu they said we are not going to accept hindi as a national language in fact we want english only i think i had a talk we had a talk on this why english because uh, that's the gift given by the britishers to us and that is again one of the advantage we indian are having that uh, our counterpart chinese their focus is not more most on english they they concentrate on only on mandarin that is chinese language and that's why we because of our command on english we are spread out across you go to canada you go to new zealand you go to australia and it is again the gift of britishers this this were the people who ruled the entire globe pure duniya bhar raj kiya unhone right from new zealand till you go to canada or to till you go to greenland or iceland you will find people speaking this language everywhere it's it's a question of debate whether it's a good language or bad language uh, that should not be our concern what we have to see that i should be able to connect to the most of people and english gives you a way out particularly when we talk about globalization english is most spoken language on this globe in fact there is a, there is a fight between chinese and english बिकॉज डिपेंडिंग ऑन पॉपुलेशन कम ज़्यादा होती रहती है कभी चाइनीज स्पीकिंग पॉपुलेशन थोड़ी ज़्यादा दिखेगी आपको रफली हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी करोड्स राइट सेम इज़ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश विच कम्स द नेक्स्ट लैंग्वेज मोस्ट स्पोकन कम्स द स्पैनिश एंड फोर्थ इज सरप्राइजिंग इट इज़ हिंदी तो हिंदी पे कमांड आ गई आपकी इंग्लिश पे आ गई मराठी इज ट्वेंटी एथ मोस्ट स्पोकन लैंग्वेज मैडम तुम्हारा मुझे एटलीस्ट वी आर टॉपिंग इन ट्वेंटी बंगाली फॉर्चुनेटली सिक्स की सेवन है कहते नहीं बंगाली आई थिंक बंगाली बंगाली इज जस्ट बिलो हिंदी राइट सो इफ यू हैव कमांड ऑन दिस थ्री लैंग्वेजेस प्रॉब्ली यू कैन कनेक्ट टू ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन ऑन दिस ग्लोब चाइनीज छोड़ दिया जाए तो वैसे भी अपने को कोई ताल्लुकात नहीं है चाइनीज लोगों से सो वी कैन वी कैन कनेक्ट टू मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल यू गो टू अमेरिका यू गो टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू कैन कनेक्ट आपकी कमांड होनी चाहिए नई कमांड हुई एटलीस्ट मुझे समझती भी है तो आई कैन कनेक्ट एंड सी कनेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ डेज विदाउट कनेक्शन यू कैन नॉट ग्रो एल एन मास्क इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल डू यू नो दैट पर्सन एल एन मास्क वॉट इज ही रिलेटेड टू एल एन मास्क एनी बडी फ्रॉम द ग्रुप नो नॉट सिंगर बिजनेस मैन टेस्ला हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट टेस्ला राइट ही इन फैक्ट ही इज अ साउथ अफ्रीकन ही माइग्रेटेड टू यूरोप and from there he migrated to america he belongs to a, a fairly decent background not very rich parent not very poor and he is right now the second most richest person on this world on this globe he is not producing anything what he did is connect people have so much of faith in him tesla bahut kam car banati hai bahut hi kam car banati hai aap uh, india ke jo total car manufacturing hongi usse 1% se bhi kam hai but still he is the richest why because the people have confidence because he sells dreams 
कि आई मेक एवरी थिंग एनवायरमेंटल फ्री आई टेक पीपल टू दी यूरो सॉरी टू द स्पेस राइट ही रन्स वन कंपनी नेम आफ्टर स्पेस एक्स सुना स्पेस एक्स ही वेंट टू स्पेस जस्ट टू जस्ट टू जस्ट फॉर अ फन राइड बट पीपल उसके शेयर इतने बढ़ गए क्यों बिकॉज ही हैज कनेक्ट ह्यूमन कनेक्ट विथ दी अदर पीपल पीपल हैव ट्रस्ट इन हिम पीपल हैव फेथ इन हिम सो दैट्स वाई ही इज द सेकेंड इनफैक्ट ही वॉज द रिचेस्ट पर्सन राइट नो अर्नॉल्ड हु इज दैट पर्सन हु इज द रिचेस्ट वन इज फ्रॉम यूरोप सो ही ही इज जस्ट टॉपिंग इन सेकेंड and this connection is very important and connection will come only when you have command on the language koi bhi reh sakti hai hindi bhi reh sakti hai marathi bhi reh sakti hai usse bhi connection milega aapko but if you want global connection then you need to be good in english you, you cannot run away from it ki mai kyu seeku mujhe zarurat nahi to mai marathi medium ko padhata hu but you have to you have to learn if you really want to expand your network expand your brand value इंग्लिश सीखना जरूरी है आप जितनी भी गालियाँ मारनी है मार लो इंग्लिश को बट यू कैन नॉट रन अवे फ्रॉम इट यू हैव टू लर्न एंड इट इज नीडेड नो बिकॉज ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड वी आर फॉर्चुनेट वी आर गुड इन लर्निंग इंग्लिश वेरी क्विकली बिकॉज दैट इज देयर इन आवर ब्लड लोग अंग्रेजों ने अपने पे राज किया तो कैसा वी आर यूज टू दिस लैंग्वेज राइट सो दैट इज सेकेंड रोल ऑफ लैंग्वेज आई हैव जस्ट नाउ आई हैव कवर्ड रोल ऑफ लैंग्वेज इन टीचिंग लर्निंग Bloom's taxonomy, uh, Padma, Dr. Padmakar has already covered, so I won't be going into depth of it. History of NAP, whether this NAP is happening for the first time, NAP is happening for the first time. It has happened earlier also, 1968, then uh, 1986. This is the third time a new education policy is being introduced. There is nothing new in it. It has already happened. Then what is the structure of NAP, and then pros and cons of NAP. This is the this is a topic for discussion. and what you are going to learn out of all this after going through this presentation what you are going to learn you are going to learn the history philosophy structure pros and cons of nep uh, realize the importance of communication and language in teaching learning learn B bloom's taxonomy which we have already learned bloom taxonomy it is all about how the learning teaching takes place we have seen it in the first session right so let us move up ahead uh, do you uh, all recognize this person in fact this is a very famous one this one nelson mandela who was he he was the president of independent south africa right and he was the staunch follower of non violence in fact his mentor was uh, mohandas karamchand gandhi right he used to follow him he used to imitate him and based on his philosophy he liberated south africa वही स्ट्रैटेजी यूज़ की जो महात्मा गांधी यूज़ करते थे वही स्ट्रैटेजी यूज़ की और अंग्रेजों से गुलामी जो गुलाम थे अंग्रेजों के साउथ अफ्रीकन ही लिबरेटेड दैट कंट्री द वे द क्रेडिट इज गिवन टू महात्मा गांधी अगेन दैट इज डिबेटेबल मीन्स आई वोट वी वोट बी गोइंग इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ इट राइट सो वॉट ही सेड ही वॉज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीवर इन दी इन द स्ट्रक्चर इन द टेम्पल ऑफ एजुकेशन ही सेड that education is the most powerful tool on this globe anybody can use it is more powerful than atom bombs nuclear bombs your gun no matter what sort of weapon you take this weapon can change this weapon can revolutionize the entire globe if you have literate people around across you then this education can brings lot of changes lot of positive changes in the entire society so he said again the the famous statement it is given there destroying any nation does not require the use of atom bombs all you have to destroy is your education system let the student copy in the exam do not teach them anything and the entire nation will get destroyed so it th that is the significance that is the importance of education education is very very important that's why it is said that more the kerala is the most literate state in india and uh, most of the problems are not there because everybody is literate over there almost 100% literacy jo problems bihar state jaise uh, bihar up ko jo face karne padte hai shayad kerala mein nahi hai wo problem even though it's very small state but its contribution to gdp is significant 
to the GDP of the country. They significantly contribute. Most of them are staying in um, Dubai and all those Gulf countries, and they are contributing in what? Dinar. Dinar is Mandura. Dirham. 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 They are contributing in dirhams, and almost everybody is literate there. So, both sare janjati khatam ho jati. If everybody is literate, then uh, most of the problems get solved. Social issues get solved. ऐसे नहीं कि प्रॉब्लम्स नहीं आएंगे, but कम हो जाएंगे. The the intensity will get reduced. So, why I have shown this slide is to show you the importance, importance of uh, education. I'll skip few of the part. We'll directly here. Yeah, I was talking about this. 1968 was the first time uh, a new education policy was introduced. It was when the Indira Gandhi government was there. They did it for the first time. After that, it happened in 1986 when Rajiv Gandhi was there. And uh, in between, there were certain revisions, like 2005 हो गया, 2016 हो गया, 17 को ये draft की गई policy 2017. In fact, this policy was drafted by the Congress government, and BJP uh, actually resisted at that point of time. Opposition or ruling party का चलती रहती. They opposed. They said it is not in favor of this country. When they came to power, they accepted the entire in total, in barring few changes. थोड़े बहुत change करके वही policy लगा दी. So nothing. Forget about politics. जो वो चलता रहेगा. But this is not happening for the first time. That is what I want to tell you. It has happened earlier also. Two time it has happened. This is the third time. Uh, yeah, again I won't be going into the definitions of. We all know what is education policy. Uh, it's a policy, simple as that, right? Which which comes under the concurrent list or concurrent subject of central and state government. Both have uh, the power, authority to make changes, right? आगे जाते हैं वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ पॉलिसी इन एजुकेशन अगेन इट्स नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट या हियर एक्चुअली कम्स द एन ई पी ब्रोकन इन टू फोर पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट टॉक्स अबाउट स्कूल एजुकेशन स्कूल एजुकेशन अगेन विल बी कमिंग टू इट एक्चुअली राजश्री मैडम शी वॉज हैविंग वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग वेदर वेर वेर दे विल स्टैंड नाउ बिकॉज ट्वेल्थ तक स्कूलिंग बोला गया है अभी तो जूनियर वालों का क्या होगा दैट वॉज द क्वेश्चन शी हैज रेज विल बी गोइंग टू दैट ऑल्सो Uh, yeah second was higher education second was higher education other key as other key areas of focus like digitalization then moo courses online courses uh, then what technology driven everything student centric all these terms will come in part 3 and part 4th is managing it happened that is implementation kaise aap isko how we are going to Uh, how we are going to practically implement this policy and make it happen whatever the thought process that the committee has uh, uh, arranged for and this is the vision vision is again student centric as i said india centric education system transforming see th these are all the keyword high quality of education these are the keywords to actually change kya hone wala hai student bhi wohi rehne wale hai jo aate hai faculty bhi wohi hai दस साल बाद भी अपनी यही एसी रूम रहेगी शायद मेरे जगह दूसरा कोई स्पीच देता रहेगा बट थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू रिमेन मिस एंड टू से हाउ दिस पॉलिसी इज गोइंग टू चेंज दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्योंकि सिस्टम तो वही रहने वाली है सिस्टम में बहुत ज़्यादा बदल नहीं आने वाला क्योंकि स्कूलिंग स्कूलिंग ही रहने वाला है कॉलेज एजुकेशन कॉलेज एजुकेशन ही रहने वाला है कुछ चेंजेस हुए हैं दोज आर गुड गुड फ्रॉम दी स्टूडेंट पॉइंट ऑफ Yeah, this one. Yeah, earlier also, earlier policy also used to talk about access and equity. Equity, जो इसने बोला जितेंद्र नायक ने, equity. Everybody should get an equal opportunity. Whether you are belonging to a rural background, uh, or whether you are belonging to urban background, whether you come from financial good background, or you are financially weak, everybody gets an equal opportunity. Equity. That is called as equity. and quality education i have used this word now here is the basic difference jaisa aap bologe sir isme difference kya hai earlier jo present system hai not earlier uh, our system is 10 plus 2 dasvi tak padho baad mein 2 saal aap 12vi karo 11th and 12th 
but here few changes are there. Five plus three plus three plus four. Iska ratta hi laga lo abhi, kyunki yehi sab kuch rehne wala hai tum sab. Five plus three plus three plus two. I'll explain you what exactly is this. See, uh, jo apn jo bolte nursery ya anganwadi jo bolte hain, right? Isme abhi compulsory part hai. Part jo hai, part me ke three saal jo hai, that will be meant for anganwadi. and you will be enroll enrolling your children or child at the age of 3 so 3 plus 3 he become 6 years old right 6 years onward he do first standard and second standard that completes 5 right to ye paths me uska bolte basic jo i'll be coming to those words दिस इज अट्रक्चर सी थ्री थ्री इज आंगनवाड़ी नर्सरी जो बोलते हैं अपन नो इट इट हेज बिकम कंपल्सरी अर्लियर इट वॉज नॉट कंपल्सरी मुझे डालना है तो डाल दिया मैंने कोई भी प्ले प्ले स्कूल में ठीक है पढ़ और इसमें बोला गया कि ये पाँच जो साल है दिस इज फाउंडेशनल फाउंडेशनल फ्राम मेनी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लाइक फाउंडेशनल फ्राम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस फाउंडेशनल फ्राम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ लर्निंग योर मदर टंग और होम लैंग्वेज और स्टेट लैंग्वेज वॉट एवर लैंग्वेज यू आर फॉलोइंग so this 3 plus 2 he'll attain the age of 6 right and after that he'll go to preparatory school that is from age 8 to 11 saal 8 uh, 8 saal ka jab ho jayega wo he'll be learning preparatory here he'll be taught or he or she will be taught with coding and all those uh, useful thing which usually children can grasp uh, quite easily कोडिंग बाद में उनका कंसेप्ट ये है कि पहले कोडिंग सिखा दिया जाए तो स्टूडेंट्स दे आर दे आर क्वाइट फास्ट दे आर क्वाइट एक्टिव एंड दे कैन ग्राफ लॉट ऑन लॉट मनी थिंग्स वेरी इजीली सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज प्रिपरेटरी दैन मिडल इज व्हाट सिक्स टू एट सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड टू एट स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ इलेवन टू फोर्टीन एंड सेकेंडरी स्कूलिंग सेकेंडरी स्कूलिंग विल बी फ्रॉम द एज फोर्टीन टू एटीन इसमें आपका दसवीं भी आ गया बारहवीं भी आ गई इलेवन भी आ गए इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्थ आई होप दी थिंग्स आर क्लियर समझ में आ रहा है एनी थिंग विच यू विच यू डू नॉट फॉलो जस्ट आस्क मी सो अभी स्कूलिंग चलेगा बारहवीं तक पहले क्या था दसवीं तक अपन स्कूल बोलते थे जूली प्राइमरी स्कूल सेकेंडरी स्कूल एंड वी यूज टू कॉल जूनियर कॉलेज नाउ वो बारहवीं तक स्कूलिंग ही करता रहेगा एंड आफ्टर दैट विल बी वॉट ग्रेजुएशन Three years graduation and four years graduation. That already uh, the earlier speaker they have explained what is four year graduation and what is three years graduation. This was the earlier system. This was there was a vacuum over here. Now here, three years se hi wo padna chalu karega. Now these are the few highlights which I have already covered. All students will take school exam in grade three five. See first and second there won't be any exam. In fact, this student won't be carrying any bag also. उसे एक जो अट्रैक्शन है स्कूल का उसको सिर्फ जो घर पे कर रहा था वो स्कूल में जाके करना ही है ही और शी हैज टू मेक फ्रेंड्स दैन प्ले प्ले वॉट एवर गेम दे वुड लाइक टू प्ले एट होम तो उस एनवायरमेंट वैसा बना दिया जाएगा कि अभी जो अपन बच्चे को खींच के लेके जाते थे स्कूल में नाउ हिल से कि आज छुट्टी क्यों है आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू स्कूल बिकॉज हिल फील लाइक एट होम पहले जो घर पर कर रहा था अभी स्कूल में कर रहा है दैट्स वाई नो बैक टिल फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड और एग्जाम देना चालू करेगा वो ग्रेड थ्री फाइव एंड एट देर इज नो एग्जाम इन फोर्थ देर इज नो एग्जाम इन सिक्स एंड सेवन बोर्ड एग्जाम विल बी फॉर ग्रेड टेन एंड ट्वेल्व एंड द फोकस इज ऑन होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट वॉट इज होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ओवरऑल राइट थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री आई शुड बिकम एम्प्लॉयबल आई शुड नर्चर माई हॉबीज माई पैशंस माई इंटरेस्ट राइट I should learn whatever I feel like learning. जो जो मुझे अच्छा लगता है वो मुझे पढ़ते आना चाहिए I should get freedom of learning what I want to learn. Okay? These are the objective. What is GER? GER. Gross Enrollment Ratio. 
नो गवर्नमेंट प्लान टू मेक इट हंड्रेड परसेंट जो ड्रॉप आउट हो जाते थे ट्वेल्थ के बाद राइट right? तो गवर्नमेंट डोंट वॉन्ट एनी बडी टू ड्रॉप आउट राइट नो इट इज सेट टू बी एटी फाइव समवेर अराउंड एटी टू परसेंटेज आई एम टू से एटीन परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट ड्रॉप आउट नाउ दे वुड लाइक टू मेक इट हंड्रेड परसेंट बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी फाइव या दिस इज द कमिटी हु इज द चेयरमैन के कस्तूरी रंजन राइट एंड द लेडी विच आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इज कामत Vasudha Kamal, she is, she was the vice chancellor at that point of time of SNDT, and I was fortunate to have taken one session on NEP with her. She was the second uh, after the chairman, most important person. And these are the other people from various areas. They are not all academicians. Uh, they have picked up people from industry, from various various different uh, areas. See again this keyword holistic development, overall development. It's not, uh, not only mental but physical also as well. Somebody is good in sports, at least a sports to be ana chhi. It can be carom, it can be running, it can be swimming, it can be anything. Holistic. See again this this particular keyword you will find everywhere. Holistic development, overall development, whole development, right? So this this word is very important when talk about NAP. Now I think I will directly take you to the advantages and disadvantages. These are the major reforms. UG programs, abhi three saal aur four saal ka rahega. Uh, PG one saal aur two saal. Jo three saal ka graduation karke aa raha hai, he has to do PG of two years. Jo four saal ka karte aa raha hai, wo usko PG karne ki zarurat hi nahi. He can directly enroll for PhD. No need for PG. Ab uske karan kya hoga? MBA jaise course sab bad jayenge. जितने भी पीजी कोर्सेज है क्योंकि बच्चा का वो तो चार साल का ही करेगा और वो एक साल उसको करना भी रहा है एम तो ही हैज टू डू एम बी ओनली फॉर वन ईयर तो एक साल का ही एम रह गया तो फैकल्टी आदि करनी पड़ेगी पूरी फैकल्टी की जरूरत कहाँ है सेम इज गोइंग टू हैपन विद ऑल अदर कोर्सेज एम कॉम भी वैसे ही होगा एम भी वैसे ही होगा मास कम्युनिकेशन भी वैसे ही होगा फैकल्टी आधे से ज़्यादा फैकल्टी लगने ही नहीं बनी पर्टिकुलरली फॉर पी क्योंकि मैंने जब ओपिनियन लिया बच्चों का तो मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर प्रिफरिंग फोर इयर्स पेरेंट्स बोलेंगे कौन झंझट पालेगा चार साल का कर लो बाद में इच्छा हुई तो करेंगे पीजी नहीं तो इट इज इट इज मेकिंग देम एलिजिबल फॉर डॉक्टरेट एंड दे कैन गेट जॉब आउट ऑफ इट दे आर इक्वली एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई फॉर ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स कहीं पर भी जा सकते हो एंड इट इज इट विल बी कॉल्ड एज रिसर्च डिग्री तो एक रिसर्च वर्ड उससे अटैच हो गया तो दैट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अट्रैक्शन लॉट ऑफ अट्रैक्शन अमंग्स द पेरेंट and amongst the students main kyu karunga 3 uh, saal ka main ek saal dekh ke i'll straight away i can pursue phd so that is again a big question mark Ab actual kaisa implement hota mujhe even you cannot predict i cannot predict how soon are going to take it we cannot predict it. then integrated bhi ek rahega course jo 5 saal ka rahega which will include uh, pg right integrated program mphil has been totally abolished discontinued no more mphil now kyunki usko phd karne mil raha hai 4 saal ke baad so what is the need of mphil so mphil is permanently discontinued academic bank of credit uh, the first speaker was talking about it now like dg locker jaisa hota hai na apna waise aapke marks jo hai maine pehla saal kar liya i have done first semester second semester i'll get credits ek subject pass kiya char credit mil gaye Uh, दो सब्जेक्ट पास किए आठ सब्जेक्ट पास किए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फोर कोई कुछ सब्जेक्ट के अलग अलग ट्रेड रहेंगे तीन क्रेडिट भी रह सकते हैं उतने क्रेडिट हो गए फर्स्ट ईयर के अगर बीस क्रेडिट लगते हैं वो मेरे बैंक में है आई कैन कैरी दोज क्रेडिट एनी वेयर एंड सी वाई ऑल दिस ऑल दिस खटापट जो बोलते हैं अपन दैट स्टूडेंट कैन टेक दोज क्रेडिट एंड गो टू यू एस वहाँ जाके पढ़ सकते इट इज़ टू ब्रिंग आवर स्टैंडर्ड विद दी ग्लोबल स्टैंडर्ड तीन ही कंट्री है पूरे uh, on this globe uh, rather not three so pakistan india sri lanka and afghanistan or uh, sorry bangladesh these are the only countries whose education system is affiliated based university affiliation jo bolte hai na baki aap kahin pe bhi chale jao rest are all cluster based or they are university based and so autonomous universities apni wohi parampara chalti aa rahi jo angrez chhod ke gaye so that's why we cannot migrate 
इनफैक्ट ये भी बोला जाता है कि बहुत सारे जो ये बैठे हैं ब्यूरोक्रैट्स उनको अपने बच्चे बाहर भेजने हैं करके उन्होंने ये सिस्टम लाई ताकि उनके पहले कैसा था कि तीन साल का कर लिए तो आपको इतना आसानी से जाते नहीं आता था आपको क्रेडिट जमा करने पड़ते थे एक साल के और बाद में मैडम लमाए थे सर बाद में फिर आप फॉरेन जा, जा सकते थे अभी तो बोला गया है कि ये ब्यूरोक्रैट्स ने बदल दिया इसको कि उनके बच्चे को आसानी हो जाए फॉरन में जाने के लिए दिस अगेन वन ऑफ द वर्जन आई डो नॉट नो टू वॉट एक्सटेंड इट इज़ ट्रू और फॉल्स बट इट इज़ टू ब्रिंग our indian education at par with the global so that uh, the student focus jo bolte hain student centric student can move around from this particular university to pune he or she can go to pondicherry delhi anywhere because syllabus will be uniform the credit uh, he has collected those credit so after completing certificate course of one year after 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 he can carry those credit and take admission for diploma anywhere across the globe not only india across the globe after diploma he can carry those credit two years credit and take admission for graduation and after graduation he or she can enroll for research degree and after research degree directly enroll for phd so this is how the changes has taken place अदरवाइज टीचिंग लर्निंग तो वही चलने वाला है कॉग्नेटिव लर्निंग ही रहेगा क्रिटिकल बेस स्किल बेस जो बोलते हैं अपन वो तो पहले भी था आज भी है और कल भी रहेगा मेजर रिफॉर्म्स अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू आई वॉन्ट बी गोइंग इन टू डिटेल ऑफ ऑल दिस आई शेयर दिस लाइट सो दैट यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू इट Uh, what does nap says education should be holistic again that word has come uh, man making character making jo bolte hai apan man making good citizens of india jo bolte hai apan we should be good citizens of india life giving and character building that again that key word has come character building yeah now the system the landscape will look something like this research universities which will be offering what four years degree they will be called as research universities then teaching universities jo 3 saal ki degree de rahe hain jahan pe sirf teaching chalega kyunki bahut bar kya ho raha hai overlap ho raha tha i am good in teaching i am not good in research so why should i be drag ki itni paper chahiye aapki itni to mujhe i can i can uh, give away it ki nahi i just would like to just teach I, my focus is not, not on research no i am not good in teaching but i know how to experiment how to do research so i can enroll myself in research university or i can take up a job in teaching university and the other one is autonomous colleges what is this autonomous colleges this will be cluster of college apna college se khud autonomy bhi ja sakta hai because the condition is 3000 students jinke paas 1000 hi student hai they can go and search for neighboring colleges ki bhai aapke paas kitne batao to wo bolega 2000 hai to you can combine together 1000 plus 2000 make it to 3000 can be one autonomous college autonomous college usually won't be self standing or stand alone apna college fortunate hai ki apan jaisa coi science ko attach kar liya jaye to we will be multidisciplinary but our dhanwante national college is not multidisciplinary in a true sense hai apne arts bhi hai management bhi hai commerce bhi hai but what if somebody wants biology what if somebody wants to learn zoology i am interested in animals animals behavior so i want to like to take zoology i am interested in plants and uh, herbs and shrubs so i i might like to go for biology so that is the concept behind it core competency and you are multidisciplinary or skill based i am i am good in music i'd like to sing so i can enroll myself for a music class right because see no two human being are same ap apan sab logo ke dna nikal liye jaye to ek ka bhi dna match nahi karega 7 billion people on this particular globe nobody's dna will match with other one everybody is unique in itself that's why this concept has come ki let him learn commerce at the same time he is good in traveling let him learn tourism travel and tourism he learns to roam around right to ek mujhe skill based chahiye ya mere hobby preserve karne ke liye chahiye aur ek core competency core competency jo bolte hai that is meant for job oriented isse mujhe ek job mil jaye or i can pursue my interest my hobbies my passion yes sir ye jo autonomous colleges rahe hain hmm to wo 
वो हाँ वो अगेन गुड क्वेश्चन इसमें कैसा है कॉलेज मिलके आपको डिसाइड करना है क्या करना है ऑटोनॉमी है तो यू कैन ऑफर थ्री इयर्स फोर इयर्स आल्सो वो भी काम बढ़ने वाला है अभी प्रिंसिपल का और स्टाफ का यू कैन दिस दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव रेड देर इज नो क्लियर मेंशन कि बहुत सारी चीज़ें एवरीबडी इज कन्फ्यूज कि एग्जैक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन क्योंकि इट विल एंटायरली डिपेंड ऑन स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वेन दे वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट लाइक एम पी वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट दे हैव ऑलरेडी इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड दे आर फेसिंग लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लेट मी टेल यू दैट बिकॉज आई वॉज देयर एज अ रिसोर्स पर्सन वो तो बोल रहे हैं कि स्टूडेंट इतने कन्फ्यूज हो गए हैं और इतना सारा कहाँ से लाए कोई बोल रहा है मुझे म्यूजिक पढ़ना है तो हाउ कैन वी ऑफर पैसे मेरे यहाँ देगा दूसरा क्यों एडमिशन देगा उसको फीस तो मेरे यहाँ दी है उसने सो प्लेंटी ऑफ इश्यूज आर देयर वी डू नॉट नो बट स्टिल वी हैव टू डू डेलीब्रेशन दैट इज वॉट ऑल वी कैन डू वी कैन डू डिस्कशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन होगा तो विल बी पार्ट ऑफ इट सो एटलीस्ट वी शुड बी अवेयर कि वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन नो हियर गुड क्वेश्चन ऑटोनोमस कॉलेजेस दे कैन ऑफर बोथ थ्री ईयर्स एज वेल एज फोर ईयर्स This is what I have read in between the line. There is no clear mention. Sir, Thomas, just to clarify, this question is asked. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
पण ते प्रॅक्टिकली आजपर्यंत कुठलंच गव्हर्नमेंट नाही करू शकलं ते काँग्रेस असो की बी जे पी असो किंवा दुसरं कुठले गव्हर्नमेंट असो आम आदमी करू शकते डी सी वनकडे कुठे आहे डी सी हां त्यांनी हा त्यांनी केलं आहे त्यांनी केलं पेन्शनही लागू केली तुमची हा हे दिस दिस इज वॉट आय वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट ॲफिलेटिंग सिस्टेम विच एक्झिस्ट हिअर इन इंडिया राईट नाव विच एक्झिस्ट इन पाकिस्तान बांगलादेश अँड श्रीलंका ऑल आर दी कंट्रीज विच वेअर रूल्ड बाय दी ब्रिटिशर्स राईट सो दिस दिस पर्टिक्युलर ॲफिलेशन सिस्टीम वी हॅव टू गिव्ह अप देर वोंट बी अॅनी ॲफिलेशन मी अभि हे नाही बोल पाऊंगा की आय हॅव डन माय आय डन माय डिग्री फ्रॉम राष्ट्रसंत तुकडोजी महाराज नागपूर युनिव्हर्सिटी और ॲट ॲट आय आय गॉट माय पी एच डी डिग्री फ्रॉम संत गाडगे बाबा अमरावती युनिव्हर्सिटी नो ॲफिलेशन आपलं कॉलेज कुठेच ॲफिलेटेड राहणार नाही पण हे इमिजिएटली नाही होणार आहे वी डोंट हॅव टू वरी बरेचसे लोक आपण रिटायर येऊन जाऊ तोपर्यंत इट्स इज गोईंग टू बी इट्स गोईंग टू हॅपन फेज वाईज हे ग्रॅज्युएशनचं हे फिफ्टी पर्सेंट आहे हायर एज्युकेशनसाठी लेटेस्ट डायरेक्टली गो टू नाव ॲडवांटेजेस अँड डिसॲडवांटेजेस युनिव्हर्सिटीज नाही तेच तर नाही युनिव्हर्सिटी राहील युनिव्हर्सिटी ऑटोनॉमस युनिव्हर्सिटी राहील ना रिसर्च युनि युनिव्हर्सिटीज राहील टीचिंग युनिव्हर्सिटीज राहील बट वी वॉन्ट बी ॲफिलेटेड तुम्हाला चालवायचं तुम्ही तू स्वतःच चालवा ऑल दे टॉक अबाउट अकॅडमिक ऑटोनॉमी ॲडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव्ह ऑटोनॉमी अँड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट फायनान्शियल ऑटोनॉमी तुम्ही तुम्ही स्वतःच अर्न करा आणि स्वतःच खर्च करा डोंट आस्क फॉर ग्रांट्स सरळ हे ग्रांट्स संपवण्याचं मागे की गो फॉर ऑटोनॉमी यू 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 अपग्रेड युअर स्टँडर्ड टू दॅट लेवल दॅट स्टुडंट विल बी अट्रॅक्टेड फॉरेन युनिव्हर्सिटीज आर गोईंग टू कम इन कोलॅबरेशन विथ दी स्टेट युनिव्हर्सिटी और सेंट्रल युनिव्हर्सिटी दॅट इज अगेन डिबेटेबल सी अर्लियर त्यांनी फॉरेन युनिव्हर्सिटीजला अलाउड केलं होतं विथ द कंडिशन ऑफ फिफ्टी करोड हॅज अ डिपॉझिट फिफ्टी करोड फायव्ह झिरो तर बऱ्याचशा लोकांनी इंटरेस्ट नाही दाखवला त्यातही त्यांनी म्हटलं आहे कंडिशन टॉप हंड्रेड फॉरेन युनिव्हर्सिटीज टॉप हंड्रेड एकशे एकवा असला कुठला त्याचं रँकिंग असलं ग्लोबल रँकिंग तर दॅट युनिव्हर्सिटी वोंट बी अलाउड सो हाय क्वालिटी युनिव्हर्सिटीज आर गोईंग टू कम अँड देर इज अ कॅपिंग ऑन फीज ऑल्सो दे हॅव मेड वन मोर वन मोर कंडिशन की ये फीज की उपर हा फीज नाही ले पाहू नो मॅटर हाऊ यू डू युअर सेटअप ये क्वालिटी का सेटअप लगेगा और कॅपिंग रहेगा फीज पे की दिस विल बी वॉट मॅक्सिमम यू कॅन चार्ज अँड दे हॅव टू कम इन विथ कोलॅबरेशन विथ दी लोकल युनिव्हर्सिटीज ओरि तर तिथे आपल्याला एक ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टीचर्स कम्युनिटीला ओपन अप होणार आहे डेफिनेटली बिकॉज दे प्रिफर इंडियन्स कम्पेअर टू ते 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 त्यांचे रिसोर्सेस नाही येणार ह्युमन रिसोर्स अनिल पण मोस्ट कॅप प्रमाण कारण की टू डील विथ इंडियन्स यू नीड इंडियन्स ओनली हू कॅन अंडरस्टँड दी मेंटॅलिटी बेटर दॅन दी काउंटर पार्ट दी फॉरेन काउंटर पार्ट तिथे तर डेफिनेटली जॉब ऑपॉर्च्युनिटीज ओपन होईल बरेचसे लोक वाईस चान्सलर बनेल कारण की खूप साऱ्या युनिव्हर्सिटीज येईल तर ज्याला व्ही सी बनायचं आहे तर त्याच्यासाठी चान्सेस वाढले ज्यांना फॅक्ट फॉरेन युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये शिकवायचं आहे त्यांनाही चान्स वाढले फक्त इंग्लिश आलं पाहिजे इंग्लिशला इम्प्रोवाईज करा ते त्याच्या छान नाही तर ती ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी चालली जाईल नऊ अगेन हिअर मेनी ऑफ दी येस हा भांडवलशी तर सगळीकडेच आहे ना भांडवलशाही कुठे आहे भांडवलशाहीमुळेच आपला देश चालू आहे नाव येस सी विल विल हॅव डिस्कशन आफ्टरवर्ड्स सो दिस इज अ दिस दिज आर फ्यू रेग्युलेटरी बॉडीज जसं आपलं नॅक होतं किंवा आपलं यू जी सी होतं दे आर ऑल गोईंग टू बी डिझॉल्व्ह अँड दिस फोर बेसिक बॉडीज आर गोईंग टू कम वन बॉडी विल टेक केअर ऑफ ग्रांड वन बॉडी विल टेक केअर ऑफ स्टँडर्ड सेटिंग जे जी ई सी म्हटलं आहे जनरल एज्युकेशन काउन्सिल नॅकला आता नॅक न म्हणता एन एस सीच राहील नुसतं एक एक ए हटून टाकलं आहे त्यांनी नॅशनल ॲक्रेडेशन काउन्सिल दिस आर दी फोर बेसिक बॉडीज and this will be under what higher education commission of india h e c i cha under ya char bodies are there won't be nac nac rail fun nac rail ata there won't be any ugc there won't be any aict except medical and legal 
यांचं सेटअप चेंज नाही करणार आहे ते आय डो नॉट नो द रिझन आय हॅव नॉट ट्राय टू स्टडी गो इन टू डिपर ऑफ इट बिकॉज ती सिस्टीम वेगळी आहे रेस्ट ऑल ऑल दी एज्युकेशनल बॉडीज विल कम अंडर द ॲम्बिट ऑफ दिस फोर पर्टिक्युलर काउन्सिल्स ऑल आर काउन्सिल्स ओके ही एक गोष्ट लक्षात ठेवायची यूज ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी जितेंद्र हॅज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अप यूज ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी हे झालं आहे आपण ऑलरेडी घेतलं आहे लेट अस गो टू ॲडव्हान्टेजेस दिस या दिस इज अ टाईमलाईन टिल द इयर ट्वेंटी फोर्टी मीन्स इन फॅक्ट इट इज सरप्राईझिंग की इतकं लांबचं प्लॅनिंग कसं शक्य होईल सो इट्स व्हेरी व्हेरी द एम इज व्हेरी लॉंग टर्म मीन्स मीन्स दोन हजार चाळीसमध्ये प्रॉपरली इम्प्लिमेंट होऊ शकेल तोपर्यंत किती गव्हर्नमेंट येतात किती जातात काय बदल होतात अजून टेक्नॉलॉजी बेस काय बदल होतात वी आर नॉट अवेअर अबाउट सो अगेन दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क टू थाउजंड फोर्टी पर्यंत इम्प्लिमेंट इज अ व्हेरी व्हेरी लॉंग टाईमलाईन इनफॅक्ट इट शूड हॅव बीन फाईव्ह इयर्स ऑर मॅक्स टू मॅक्स दहा वर्ष पोहून चालेल दोन हजार चाळीस म्हणजे इथून अजून किती आहे आपल्याला सतरा वर्ष तोपर्यंत या दिज आर द ॲडव्हान्टेजेस क्विकली आय गो थ्रू इट आय थिंक टाईम इज ऑलरेडी ओव्हर मॅडम सी हा याच्यात इंटरेस्ट आहे म्हणजे हे समजूनच घ्या ते कंपल्सरी असं पकडा हा कंपल्सरी सब्जेक्ट आहे आपला हे आलंच पाहिजे बिंग अ टीचर मलाच माहिती असायलाच पाहिजे उद्या कोणी विचारलं की मग कुठल्या कॉ धनवटे नॅशनल कॉलेजचं आहे काय तो असा प्रश्न मार्ग मी आला नाही येते पाय आला एन ई पी येते सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ॲडव्हान्टेज इज स्पेंडिंग राईट जे जे मी बोललो अगेन इट इट कॅरीज अ बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क सहा पर्सेंट करू शकेल का कुठलं गव्हर्नमेंट हे ॲडव्हान्टेजमध्ये घेऊ शकतो आपण डिसअडव्हान्टेज मध्ये घेऊ शकतो चेंज इन स्कूल स्ट्रक्चर हे आताच बघितलं आपण टेन प्लस टू फायव्ह प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर आलं सर हो याद हो सर हिअर बॉर्डर ऑप्शन्स टू लर्न जे आपण बघितलं जे त्यांनी ते ब्रेक केलं प्रिपरेटरी दॅन फाउंडेशनल दॅन ऑल दोज दिस गिव्ज अ बॉर्डर ऑप्शन्स टू लर्न जिथे द स्टुडंट कॅन ऑफ फॉर हिज लायकिंग सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑर हिज एरिया ऑफ लायकिंग फोकस ऑन क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग नाव दिज आर अगेन व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट की वर्ड्स क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इज नथिंग बट स्किल बेस्ड थिंकिंग ऑर कॉग्नेटिव्ह थिंकिंग जिथे आपण ब्लूम्स एक्सॉनॉमी आता बघितली दॅट वॉज क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग फर्स्ट यू रिमेंबर दॅन यू अंडरस्टँड दॅन यू अप्लाय दॅन यू अनालाइज दॅन यू वॉट दॅन यू क्रिएट इज द लास्ट वन इव्हॅल्युएट इन बिट्वीन इज इव्हॅल्युएट क्रिएट इज द लास्ट विच विच ऑल द टीचर्स शूड एम फॉर द युअर स्टुडंट शूड बी एबल टू क्रिएट समथिंग न्यू आउट ऑफ वॉट एव्हर दे आर गोईंग टू लर्न इन द क्लास तो हिस्ट्रीचा सब्जेक्ट असो किंवा जिओग्राफी असो किंवा मराठी असो मॅडमच्या स्टुडंटनी कविता सु त्या त्यांच्या स्टुडंटला कविता तयार करता आल्या पाहिजे किंवा स्टोरी लिहिता आली पाहिजे मराठीत चांगल्या मराठीत शुद्ध मराठी तसाच माझा स्टुडंट असेल तर तो चांगला मॅनेजर बनला पाहिजे राईट सो दॅट इज द क्रिएशन अल्टिमेट थिंग इज क्रिएशन ही सगळी वा वापस जद्दोजद जो चालली आहे इट इज टू क्रिएट समथिंग न्यू समथिंग युनिक विच इज विच इज पार्ट ऑफ इनोव्हेशन राईट सो क्रिएशन इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इन ब्लूम्स टेक्सॉनॉमी अँड इन ओवरऑल लर्निंग ऑल्सो यू यू शूड बी एबल टू क्रिएट समथिंग समथिंग न्यू कॉपी पेस नको दॅन मेकिंग एज्युकेशन अ बेसिक राईट ऑप्शन टू आय हॅव टॉक्ड अप ऑन दिस ऑप्शन टू लर्न कोडिंग इन स्कूल सहाव्या वर्गात जाईल तो तेव्हाच त्याला कोडिंग शिकवण्यात येईल बिकॉज ॲट दॅट पॉईंट ऑफ टाईम दी स्टुडंट ब्रेन इज क्वाईट रिसेप्टिव्ह कम्पेअर टू व्हॉट दी ब्रेन ऑफ समबडी ॲडल्ट ब्रेन इज सो सिक्स एंट्रन्स टेज फॉर ऑल कॉलेजेस आय वॉज टॉकिंग ऑन दिस दे आर टेकन इट इन टू ॲडवांटेजेस बट दिट इज गोईंग टू ॲक्ट ॲज अ ह्यूज डिसॲडवांटेज टू दी टू दी एंटायर कंट्री कारण की नो टू स्टुडंट्स ही आपल्या इतकं विभाजलं गेलं आहे इंडिया डायव्हर्सिटी जे म्हणतो विच इज गुड इन फॅक्ट आय फील दॅट इज गुड बट इट कम्स ॲट अ कॉस्ट ऑल्सो की ॲक्सेस इक्वल ॲक्सेस नाही आहे सगळ्यांना टेक्नॉलॉजी म्हणा किंवा मग बाकीच्या गोष्टी इन्फॉर्मेशन म्हणा वी डोंट हॅव इक् इक्वल ऑपॉर्च्युनिटीज ऑर इक्वल ॲक्सेस सो दिस मे ॲक्ट हॅज अ डिसॲडवांटेज अपग्रेडेड अनग्रॅज्युएट प्रोग्राम हे परत आपण वी हॅव लर्न अबाउट दिस रेग्युलेटिंग द फीज नाव एन ए पी सेज देर विल बी कॅपिंग एव्हरीवेअर 
कुठलाही कोर्स असू द्या कॅपिंग राहील याच्यावरती फीस नाही म्हणजे ऑलरेडी होतंच म्हणजे गव्हर्मेंटचं कंट्रोल होतंच त्याच्यावर पण त्यांचं म्हणणं आहे की आपण थ्रू आउट इंडिया लावू आणि सगळ्यांना कॅपिंग लावू बट दिस इज गुड फॉर फ्रॉम द पॉईंट ऑफ व्ह्यू ऑफ फॉरेन युनिव्हर्सिटीज दे आर गोईंग टू चार्ज डेफिनेटली दे आर प्लॅनिंग दे दे आर कमिंग फॉर वॉट अर्निंग मनी त्याला काही भारताचं खूप भलं नाही करायचं आहे त्याला शेवटी फीसची मतलब आहे तो कॅपिंग ऑन दिस थिंग इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट मोर स्कोप फॉर ग्लोबल एज्युकेशन आय हॅव टॉक्ड अबाउट इंग्लिश त्यांचं म्हणणं आहे की इंग्लिश जे आहे अर्लियर दे वर सेईंग लाईक सहावीपर्यंत त्याला इंग्लिश शिकूच नका नाव एन ई पी सेज लाईक वी आर लिव्हिंग इट टू द स्टेट गव्हर्नमेंट वेदर टू मेक इट कम्पल्सरी ऑर नॉट तर आता होणार काय चांगलं येन वाईट याच्यासाठी आहे की काही लोकं नुसतं वर्नॅक्युलर लँग्वेजमध्ये शिकवेल आणि माझे मुलं इंग्लिशमध्ये शिकणं चालू करून देईल पहिलेच तर देर विल बी वॉट डेस्पॅरिटी अनइक्वॅलिटी मी ग्लोबली तर कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह झालो पण वॉट अबाउट द स्टुडंट हु आर्स लर्निंग इन मुन्सिपल कॉर्पोरेशन स्कूल या आपल्या ज्या ग्रांटेड कॉर्पोरेशनच्या शाळा तिथे तर ते म्हणेल की आम्ही आमच्या लँग्वेजमध्ये शिकवतो इंग्लिश इज नॉट व्हेरी वी आर नॉट व्हेरी कम्फर्टेबल विथ इंग्लिश हा तसंच आहे ना तेच तर आता आताही खूप काही बदल होणार आहे हा या हियर हियर सी दे देर इज फोकस ऑन कल्चर अँड इथोस ग्लोबलायझेशन सोबत सोबत त्यांना मुलाला एक वर्नॅक्युलर लँग्वेज झालं कल्चर झालं दे शूड क्रिएट इंटरेस्ट दे शूड गेट दॅमसेल्फ इन्वॉल्व इन ऑल दिस थिंग ते आत आताही होत असं खूप काही फरक नाही आहे म्हणजे आपण कल्चरली आपण शिकवतोच वी हॅव वॉट ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन ओवर हिअर दॅट इज अगेन आय डोंट फाईंड एनिथिंग न्यू इन दिस दॅन इम्प्रुवमेंट इन क्वालिटी इन टीचिंग क्वालिटी बी एड बी एड त्यांनी केलं आहे चार वर्षाचं चार वर्षाचं बी एड दोन हजार तीसपासून आणि टीचिंग जॉबमध्ये यायला स्पेशली स्कूलिंगच्या तुम्हाला ते बी एड करणं कंपल्सरी चार वर्षाचं चार वर्षाचं बी एड म्हटलं आहे बा मी त्याच्या खूप डेथमध्ये नाही गेलो कारण की दॅट इज रिलेटेड टू वॉट स्कूल्स नाव नाव कमिंग टू द इम्पॉर्टंट पॉईंट विच आय एम व्हेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन येस एका चौथ्या नंतर एकाच दोन केलं डी एड बंद झालं आता हे झालं की तीन वर्षाच आहे ना बी एड बी एड किती जात दोन वर्ष फाईन लेटस लेटस मूव टू ड्रॉबॅक्स डिसॲडवांटेज जे म्हणतो आपण कोन्स जे म्हणतो आय हॅव टॉक्ट ऑन दिस फर्स्ट पॉईंट एन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ लँग्वेज अँड डायव्हर्सिटी ऑफ द कंट्री दिस इज गोईंग टू ऍक्ट ॲज अ मेजर डिसॲडवांटेज वेन वी talk about india as a country which is which, which is very very diverse in all all parameters you talk about language you talk about uh, customs you talk about costumes you talk about anything you talk about eating habits it is all very very diverse plenty of languages are there which are spoken in india out of 7000 rough languages which are spoken on this globe uh, many languages are there many dialects are there so india is very very diverse and implementing a single policy across is going to be difficult simple as that ekada state la chota state la possible way goa sarga jala pondicherry jala union territories particular delhi for example but but for a state like maharashtra which which span from what garchiruli cha jangla pasun to tumhi te mount abu parant jau shakta so it's very very large and people are of different nature and culture so it's going to be very difficult implementation second point implementation timeline and budget timeline is very very b- large broad it should have been narrowed down delay in teaching of english ithe pan tanni sodlela state government var ata state government ka tacha var stand kete te baga lagel ki english students should not be made compulsory to learn english till the class 5th or 6th sodla tanni त्यांचं तर म्हणणं आहे की वर्नॅक्युलर लँग्वेज आठवीपर्यंत घेऊन जा तुम्ही टीच इन रिजनल लँग्वेज ओनली फोकस ऑन डिजिटल लर्निंग अँड इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर न वॉट डज दिस मीन हाऊ इट इज गोईंग टू ॲक्ट ॲज अ डिसअडवांटेज डिजिटल अगेन वी डोंट हॅव इक्वल ॲक्सेस टू डिजिटल टेक्नॉलॉजी आय मे बी गोड बिकॉज आय एम स्टेईंग इन सिटी अर्बन एरिया 
my college is having all this facility so i am good in technology but what about uh, our own college in pawni koni gela ka ta college me nahi gelo pan tithe mala nahi vatat ya sagda asel kais na asel classroom hi aaya kithe to anyway the the the, the, the thing is there is there is huge disparity when we talk about urban and rural uh, this thing mm. culture i think we are fortunate that we have access to this technology updated terms of undergraduate program now what does it mean since under the updated policy a student can exit ha huh? exit and uh, entry cha je matla hai to this is going to discourage education karan ki mala maithe mi aaj sodun deu shakto an parat re entry ghyala it's not that easy i know how difficult it is ekda tumcha education sutla ki mag parat far kan because you start earning somewhere then you do not feel a need of learning जेव अन करना चालू करते मैं लर्निंग महत्व नहीं रहा सो मल्टीपल एक्जिट एंड एंट्री देव आए तुम्हें तो इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट छोटा छोटा गोषी पर एक्जिट घे पर री एंट्री घाला इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू विल बी लेफ्ट आउट तुम्हें बैचमेट्स चाले जाए समोर तो सगे एजुकेट हो जाए दैन अगेन कमिंग बैक इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट इनफैक्ट तो फ्लो मधे अपन निगुन जो कि कलीग है हा पास चला मी पास करूँ घो सोबत सोबत जो दुसरा so multiple exit and entry may look very good from the student point of view but they are going to add has a strong disadvantage kyunki main kabhi bhi ek saal mein kar liye chhod diya fir wapas aaunga to shayad teacher badal gaye hai oh mere friends to rahe hi nahi hai wo to aap bahut aage badh gaye so it's not going to be very what uh, very motivating for the student to get a re entry exit and entry this again i feel is not good poor student teacher ratio here comes the basic crux of the story you are talking about all this where are the teachers recruitment to ho hi nahi raha to padhenga kon machine to padha nahi sakte teachers to lagega ek class teacher to lagega to poor student teacher it is it is pato na ban dhanwate baga koi mote mote colleges hai if you start calculating mukesh ne lage the student teacher ratio the, the gap is huge it's very poor ratio एक फैकल्टी ए आई सी टी सेज ओनली फिफ्टीन स्टूडेंट पर फैकल्टी हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट मोर दैन वन फिफ्टी मोर दैन टू हंड्रेड प्रैक्टिकली इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू दैट मेंटर मेंटी सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग विच इज मेन्शन मेंटर एंड मेंटी मेंटरिंग यू कैन देर इज अ लिमिट टू मेंटरिंग दा मुल वीस मुल खूब जाए पंद्रह मुल तैरती इट्स बिकम क्राउड हाउ यू आर गोन टू मेंटर सो अगेन दिस इज अगेन अ बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क if you are not recruiting if you are saying that you go ahead with the present strength present faculty then who is going to teach so many of the students and that means man that student la hey dia te hi dia dela multidisciplinary give dia is going to be very very difficult so again see it's, it's it's my perception i do not know how it is going to land up how it is going to frame up in in the future nap is silent on what it is silent on rti rte right to education there is no mention about it it is silent on reservation again a debatable issue it's there is no mention about reservation and vocational internship te mantat ki pratyek mulala vocational internship gyaychi ahe internship means you have to go somewhere and work somewhere with some organization it can be a ngo it can be a professional organization like tata motors it can be anything right it can be vipro it can be tcs so from where प्लेसमेंट देना ही तो मुश्किल जाता है इतने सारे बच्चों को कंपलसरी एंट्रेंसिप कहाँ से दूंगा इट इज गुड अबाउट अर्बन फाइन सम हाउ वी कैन मैनेज बट व्हाट अबाउट रूरल एरियाज विलेजेस तिथे कुठे आहेत त्या शेतीवर थोडी लावणार तुम्ही एंट्रेंसिप यू यू नीड अ ऑर्गनायझेशन सो दिस इज अगेन अ बिग बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क वेन वी से टॉक अबाउट एन ए पी सायलेन्स वॉट आर दे सायलेंट ऑन दे आर सायलेंट ऑन आर टी राईट टू एज्युकेशन दे इज नो मेन्शन दे आर सायलेंट ऑन रिझर्वेशन अँड दे आर सायलेंट ऑन वोकेशनल एंट्रन्सिप अँड दिस ऑल अबाउट दी प्रेझेंटेशन आय हॅव फ्यू एम सी क्यूज बट इट इज मेन फॉर स्टुडंट्स नॉट फॉर यू पीपल बट आय होप यू ट्राय टू सॉल्व इट आफ्टर वर्ड्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आय थिंक आय कॅन गेट अ आन्सर राईट नाव हु वॉज द चेअरमॅन ऑफ एन ए पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी गुड गुड फुल फुल मार्क्स टू यू सेकंड रेज युअर हँड रेज आय डोंट वॉन्ट आन्सर व्हेरी व्हेरी इझी व्हेरी इझी एम सी फंडामेंटल गुड गुड चला घेऊनच टाकू दोन तीन थर्ड इक्वालिटी 
मोबिलिटी इंक्लूजन एंड इक्वालिटी राइट जी गुड ये दिस इज वेरी सिंपल फोर्थ बी गुड गुड सगे पास सगे पास हाँ पांच Sure, sure. Six to eighty. Who was that? Six, six, six to eighty. Sixth. Foundational. Me, bolo to five years foundational. Class one and two. One and two. Class covers only class one and two. Good, good. That's a short sir. Huh? नहीं नहीं फाउंडेशनल मीन्स कवर्स 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 फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड फर्स्ट ए ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर व्हाट इज रोट आर ओ टी रट्टा मैं ऐसा रट्टा इट इन इन इंग्लिश इट इज कॉल्ड एज रोट रोट दैट इज डी राइट डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन fine thank you all of you for answering all the questions uh, all of you have cleared nep <laughs> now all of you can become a resource person if somebody invites you you can take this ppt from me and see this is the conclusion pros or way the cons he mantu ami but i am doubtful whether it will go otherwise yes wow bilkul bhi na tumcha tumcha sathi banvale mi मी ग्रुपवर टाकून देतो ना ग्रुपवर आहे का तुम्ही ग्रुपमध्ये टाकतो आहे आपसात तुम्ही शेअर करून दिस दिस पीपीटी टूक मी ऑलमोस्ट सेवन टू एट डेज टू प्रिपेअर आय सर्च फ्रॉम असं नाही माझं काहीच नाही आहेत कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन आय सर्च अक्रॉस अँड जे चांगले होते ते मी उचलून टाकले पण घ्या आता आत्ताच देतो थांबा I I need your feedback on my session. अरे वो feedback 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 circulate कर दो ना feedback की circulate कर दो वो आपने certificate किए नहीं है ना तो वो certificate तो भरेंगे वो certify है मायगर है कि नहीं sir feedback पढ़ो ना हाँ feedback पढ़ो हाँ second last पढ़ो मुझे in fact if you fill the feedback form you will get a uh, ऑनलाइन सर्टिफिकेट जनरेटेड इमिजिएटली हार्ड कॉपी पाजे जी फीस भर लिया भूषण सर कलेक्ट कर हार्ड कॉपी ऑन ऑनलाइन तुम्हारा सॉफ्ट कॉपी आता भेटू फीडबैक टाइम